Hello, I'm hoping that you can see me and hear me. Um, I'm just having a bit of a nightmare today with all my internet being really, really slow and taking forever. It's like I've got dial-up again. It's uh, that slow. So, I hope that everybody's having a really good evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me again. Please say hello if you are in the chat. Then um, we, I can see who's there and say hello and um, see how's your day been. Hi Nico, hello, hello for joining me again. Oh, it makes me so happy when I see that up. I love the way you've done your names. They look really, really nice. Very nice. I'm always having problems with getting on uh, but I will I'll get there I promise I will get there so tonight what we're going to be doing is we're working again in our grandma's attic book and I did a Facebook live yesterday and we did this page here so we did this page which is page three and we did a diagonal pocket with... Hi Sarah, how are you? Hope you've had a good day crafting today. So on um, Facebook Live yesterday, we did our diagonal pocket with our magnetic closure um, that we open up like that. So that's about as far as I've got. And then we also did the decorative paper clips as well hi uh leandra how are you hello lily hi i was still crafting oh i'd love to see what you're doing so have you been making any candles and wax melts today lily so what have we been up to linderella what have you been up to I'm not very good at names, so you have to apologise if I say it wrong. So, I'm hoping that I didn't get glue all over my paper. So, um, so that's what all we've done so far. So, I've got... We, I thought we would end up making up the rest of the pages that we've got left. So we maybe work on the back of this one because this one's quite a thin page. So I bought some, I thought we'd just do some die cutting again. So I've bought some flower dies that I've got. I'm actually in love of doing the flowers. And I thought we'd put some um, extra butterflies on different places. So what I did think we might do is maybe add some um, of the Cool Cats dies, which are the... Uh, photo uh, matte ones that we I always use I have to find them out and um, we can maybe put that on the back of there just to add a bit just to add something different I suppose and see where we go not oh you had school ah oh, not today I had school and then I went to the beach but maybe make some tomorrow. oh aren't you lucky to just go to the beach it was a lovely day today as well wasn't it so, yes, I'd like to have lived by the coast to be able to just go down the beach. It'd be lovely. I have to travel about um, an hour, about an hour, 40 minutes to get to the beach from where I am. But it's not too bad. Or maybe make some tomorrow. Oh, I might have to. Yeah, I could do. I'll come down and see you all. It'll be lovely. Well, you're coming up to me, so that's good. Right, so um, let's have a little bit of a start. So I just keep flicking this book open. I'm I'm loving it so far. I really, really am. So, and it's nice that I haven't got any clear definition or direction of where it's going to go. So um, it's kind of like a book as we've just been making as we've been going along so I'm just thinking I do like these t tag type images I'm trying to think what I could make with that um, 
yeah I think about that so let's work on the back of this so we could just add the pattern paper I'd have to get my other trimmer out my other um, die cut machine out to do that I'm about 10 minutes away from the beach but on the northeast coast oh lovely um, yes it was warm but the sun and but the sea was freezing I bet do you do that cold water swimming Lily you I'd like to try something like that but I if, unless it's hot I can't get into it it's like I, I run a mile and you're about 10 minutes away from the beach on Wow, that sounds like, I bet that's cold, cold northeast, so you're up this way. I'm trying to think where you are, yes. So that be, that's still lovely up that way. I think I went to um, my, I had some family, we've got some family who live in Berwick. So as we went up to see them one day, uh, or one um, weekend or so, we, we stopped at a place called Sea House houses oh the beach there is absolutely stunning it really really is it's beautiful it really really is right let me go and let me see if the my dies my paper will fit through because i don't think it's going to fit through my die cutting machine so i might just have to quickly get the bigger one out so let's get these going so it's been very cold here today I've been very cold so I've had my I've got one of those hoodies and the hoodies is that what they're called um so I, I kind of love it it's, beautiful. it's so warm so this is what I should do beforehand but I seem to be always at the moment chasing my tail. I don't seem to have any time to do anything. So let me just see if I've plugged the right one in. No. So let me go around and plug it in. There we go. I'm coming, coming. There we are. Hoping, yes, that's it. Undo the plug. And there we go, I'm cooking with gas now. So stick that on the floor because I'm warm now. And yes, I did bring them over. Okay, so no, I've one thing which is the plates that would help. I have to plug it back in. Okay, there, I'm here now. I've done it. Sea House turned up the coast for me. I love Sea House. It's so, so nice. It really is. Hi, Jill. How are you? Lovely to see you again. That um, lovely little reel you did earlier was lovely. I absolutely loved it of my workshop it's uh, in the in the group if anybody wants to go and see it it's, she did a lovely reel right so let's have a look so i need to cut my paper now i think we might add this one and put those there and let's have a look um, I think I'm just going to pick one out. Use that one. Use that one. So, what's that? Uh, we could use the back of this one here. This is quite nice. We could actually, what would be nice, we could have used these lines and we could have then put in our slots in those lines, which would have been quite nice. Hmm. Might do that on another page. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so we might as well add this though because this one's been cut up. Although I do like that. Okay, no, we'll use that page because I do like it. I know I've got it on the back there. Nope, 
I'll stick with that one. So. Right. So let me cut it down and find out my pen, my book size. My brain is turning to mush. Okay, so we want seven inches by eight and three eighths. I just like to say I don't know where my trimmer was then. So uh, eight and three eighths. We'll come and do this one first by seven. And that will fit on there. So then what I thought we might do is using the Cool Cats dies, I've got the two, they've got the big ones and the small ones, and they're always very nice. I think this one is the seven. Let's have a look. This is five and a half by seven and a half I think that no I think I might have that one goes in there like so for your mat so this is just a nice size to be able to fit on the page like so so I'm gonna lo I'm loving doing this big tight sized album because it's nice to be able to fit on bigger photos. So I just need to get some sticky tape. Now if you haven't got any of this type of tape, this is just the Magic Scots Scotch Magic Tape. It's the one, it's the Good Name Invisible Tape. Now I always try and defluff it or refluff it should I say just to take off a lot of the stick because it does still stick but the other good thing that you can get which um, Cool Cats do is a is an orange tape and it's kind of like a glossy tape it's got like a, a, a very smooth feel to it and that you can put onto anything you don't need to defluff it and um, it just peels off it's really really good and for the life of me I can't remember what it's actually called but somebody will know so I'm going to put this in the middle and just tape it into place only because it will move I know it will and we'll just add this through the die cutting sheet I've got my um, machine on a Razpok uh, type thing so it's I can move it about my craft room which is quite good. So, just take that out. Take that out. Nope. There we are. I just don't want to hit it and it fly off everywhere so this then is I just peel it off very very gently like so then I need to get some what some cream I'm going to use cream I do like a bit of cream card and hopefully just die cut the layer that goes on the top now you would put your photo in here uh, maybe a seven by five i think this might be let's put that through Has anybody been tempted to buy the new Gemini? There we go. 
I was tempted, but um, I quite like my Sizzix, so I thought I'm going to stick with the one that I've got for the time being until I need to. So now I need to find what I've done with the piece of paper that I've just cut out. That's not good. Right, let me move these out of the way. It'll be here somewhere. Let me just put these away and then I'm having a good old look. Well, I keep telling myself I don't need it. I have the Demi and the Pro and the Mini. Yeah, I've got the, all of those. I did have the big Gemini, but I sold it. Um, the other day because I really wanted the Sizzix one which is what I got and I must admit I am loving it it is, it is a nice uh, machine and it is quiet and the plates aren't too bad but I can't believe I've done that. I can't find the piece, the pattern paper that I've just cut out. It's just gone. I've not got it in there. This is that one. It's not fell in there. It's not underneath. Get up, see if it's falling on the floor. Right. I'm sorry about this, folks. <laughs> this is just. Do you know what? I, I'm sure I must have some sort of gremlin in the house that puts stuff down and. It just disappears, so it's not there. Now, it was that piece that I cut. It wasn't that piece. Does anybody else do that? You've got an, an old Toddo as well. Oh, Sarah, what are you like? Right, so it's not there. Definitely not fell on the floor. I think I might have to cut another one. I'm just making sure I haven't cut it and then right, okay, we'll have to cut a new one. It's just disappeared. It's just gone. I double check that I've not put it in there. I'm going to stick this in the side here, in this pocket, so that I know where that is. Definitely didn't put it in one of those. No. It's not on the front, on the side. Uh, I don't know. Uh, was uh, was your first one was it ah uh, yeah I think the what did you think to the Toddo I never got the Toddo I was going to get it when it was on its special best special special offer but I didn't in the end I, I resisted right that's not it right okay so let me just bring this over again and recut it oh look it was under my plates all the time. Good job I put that in there so I know where that is. So we can stick this in here. And then that's going to be a nice photo mat there. We can add some flowers as well if you like to this. Maybe a few butterflies. Maybe some butterflies actually. Just to give this page um, a little bit of something 
so uh, I want to put I want to give it a coat or a little smidge of distress just around the edges was it very hot yeah I I bet they were and they were quite big and bulky as well weren't they I had the grand caliber I liked that one that was a nice one and but the first one I bought was the Sizzix Big Shot which is was the eight inch um, one which was the only one at the, um, at the time that you could buy and I think the Spellbinders one which was the red one with the red handle that you had to crank down um, when I started crafting that was one of the very first ones uh, with the big um, deep dish and uh, dies that you can get so that can go on like so and I need some glue there we are Ooh. There we go. I must admit, as I've been keeping my glue um, bottle topped up, it's not clogging as much, which is very good. Well, I've been sleeping in the last couple of nights I've been sleeping uh, in our caravan I wanted to test it out because uh, uh, crafty surgeon she, she came down and slept in it so I wanted to try it out just to make sure it was comfy and I must admit I've had the two best night sleep I've had in ages it was a little bit chilly last night but um, I just put on loads of different loads of um, blankets and um and stuff and i was toasty toasty warm so that's that page so we kind of like have gone from quite nice and it quite embellished and we could have done that also in here as well we could have put that die cut in there but there's nothing stopping us from doing that if we wanted to we could even add a flap on there if we wanted to uh like so um, I just I'm going to do some more of these little uh, decorative paper clips. I really like them, but you can have them where they come down, so you could have them this way, uh, like so, which would look quite nice as well, and have have it as a flag type thing. So well, let's put that back on there because that's where it was, and just to make it so it's a little bit more rigid and stays put so I've just bent it a little bit like so now I was here going to put some yeah it, I must admit Jill I was it was very very comfy I must admit I had um, a really, two good night's sleep so I really did so um, hopefully next time we'll have water connected so I'm going to leave that a minute I haven't actually thought about what I'm going to do with that yet I'm, I'm going to leave that as that is because I've got a big space up here so we could do a paper clip which would, might look quite nice we could come off through the pocket there towards the side if I can get it in she says like so so we could have something like that that's just um, held on so right okay so let's put this one back and work on the next page now I have been looking up doing different pop-ups I love a good pop-up but there's so many that it's hard to I have to um, do them over and over again to remember how to do them so I won't do any tonight so we've got one two three four five so we've got this back page 
so what can we do let's have a think what we can do let me have a look at my um, pages Now, if these were just a little bit smaller, I could have done something different. But, has anybody else got a top of having that away for a few hours? <laughs> and, uh, okay, good, yes, that's lovely. No, so yeah, we, yeah, it'd be a couple of days, quite a few days, so it'd be quite nice. Um, yeah, be really, really good. Looking forward to it. Um, yes I am so um, let's have a think right is there any sort of pages that people really like to do any uh, designs that they like to do um, I've kind of drawn a blank at the minute uh, I'd, I can I don't want to do just a flip and a flap because we always do flips and flaps so I wonder if there's anything else that people would like to do that always do in their books yeah pockets yeah I can do a pocket waterfall yeah I can do waterfall yes yes um, sh shall I do a interactive waterfall that I will have to look up um, the mechanism but um, or just a normal waterfall we could maybe do a waterfall that goes this way instead of going downwards so that might be a little bit different mightn't it so that we could put on our front should we put that on our front cover here because that'd be quite nice and we could go all the way along okay right waterfall it is yet yeah, then right hello spudette how are you thank you for joining me tonight it's lovely to see you Right, waterfall it is. So, I am going to have a look. Right, and so I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with nine and a, and three eighths. So let me just write this down, and then what I'll do is I will just nine and three eighths. This is what I do because I'm not very good at getting the measurements. So what I tend to do is cut a load. So if we're going to go that way, I want it to come open that way. So, okay, this is going to be quite a big one, I think. So it'll be 8 by 8. Okay, so I'm going to do... Let's put it down... So if I make that so seven and three quarters, so I'm going to give it a little bit more of a um, a gap at the bottom here. So seven and three quarters, and then I'll do that at nine and a quarter. So we're giving it um, a quarter of an inch all the way round. So I just need to do one so that I can gauge what I'm doing. So I need the 8, so the 8 is going to be, sorry, the 7 and 3 quarters is my measurement that way, 7 and 3 quarters there, Oops. and then I can either do it by 6, tell you what we'd go by, if I go with 5 and three quarters like so let me write that down five and three quarters by seven and three quarters and then I'm going to give it a half an inch score line like so that will give me five and a quarter so I could get a five by seven um, five by seven photo mat on there. That's it. Five by seven. So I could actually cut this down to 
um, seven and, and a quarter. Let me just check what that looks like. So we can either come it come with um, us going, opening that way, but I think opening that way would be better, like so. So we've got one. Now you could also have it where you have a few on top of each other here. That's also a, a nice way of doing it, but we said a waterfall, so waterfall it is. So I'm just going to cut a few of these out and go from there. So I'm going to actually start from the bottom here. So I might leave a half an inch gap uh, along the bottom because we need to add a closure on there. So that's what I'm doing. So there, so I'm going to give this half an inch and half an inch like so so half an inch half an inch and then that will give me enough so that I can put a little closure on there but then I might bring it right over I could actually make that a bit bigger Right, I might, I might go to three quarters actually, I, I'm thinking of something, I don't know if it's going to work, if I go to three quarters that gives me enough space, so three quarters, yeah, so that's going to be my first one, it's going to be at three quarters, okay, so I'll get one, two, three, Four, five, about six. So let's try it. Let's try six, and then I want one that goes over the top for a little closure. So let's have a look. What have you been doing today, Spudette? Have you been busy crafting, working, uh, housework? Who oh, hate the housework? But it has to be done. So, by right, by what did we say? Five and see, look, I forget. Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. That's one. Five and three quarters. That's two. And then I'm going to cut a couple together. Three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Have seven just to be on the safe side. So um, seven and three quarters, and then five and three quarters. And Five and three quarters. Now, I did say the other night that uh, I've been working. Uh, I will have to wait until the weekend before I will have chance to do any craft and crafting. Unfortunately, oh, I know work always gets in the way, doesn't it? Always, we never seem to have enough time to do the things that we love. Um, but then it'll be nice to, at the weekend. You'll be so um, you'll be so glad of the rest and be able to get in your craft room. Yeah, I did say I was going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek the other night, and I didn't. So I've actually now ordered these. They are uh, in production as we speak. So I will show them. Uh, Jill did a little bit of a sneak peek with them today on her live and we may even use them. Now did I bring them up? Please say I brought them up. Please say I brought them up. I did. Right. So I will show you. Now these are prototypes so they but they are going to be this so if you're ready to have a look this is a bit of a sneaky peeky 
<laughs> good um yes did you spot it well these are going to be the dies so you'll get six dies in the set and you they create a wave so you can get uh, they're like a page slot but they're a, a wave rather than just a straight line and they look absolutely stunning um either on the side we, we can actually do one on the side of our page and then you can put things in as well and they're spaced just that little bit wider so that you can maybe get a booklet in or um, you know, a few few tags more than what you would get in just a, maybe a straighter die so you've got you come down even to the small ones so they measure um, from tip to tip they measure so this one here is um, three and a half and they go up in half an inch increments is um, three and a half four four and a half five five and a half and then all the way up to six and then you've got that big six inch or well, actually that's saying eight so maybe they go up in inches they might go up in inches it's so long ago that i made these that uh, i'm not sure so we eight yes sorry they go down they go up so this one is eight then we go to seven then we go to six and then i think it's um and then five and then four and a half and then this one is three so they kind of go down so they're really nice and the color i love the color of these this is going to be my new dye color um this the the actual dye company that i've gone to them the one that i had previously they couldn't said they couldn't do light colored uh, metal and this other company said yes of course we can we can do the light color metal so they're like a very light minty green um i love them i love them i can't wait for you to get them and have a play they're going to be absolutely lovely i think um you could use the bigger ones to divide a piece of paper and create two pieces of that um yes that would be brilliant um jill yes so there's lots and lots and lots of good um things that um you can use these for so i can't wait for you to get them they hopefully fingers crossed will be here in the next three weeks or so um and um yes so then we can have a really good play so i'll i'll might use them a little bit later on one of the other um pages so i've done my one two three i've, well, I've done seven i will need to use that again because i will need to do the little closure on the top now let's have a look so i'm going to go with the um three quarters so that gives me enough space there as such so so that's one i'm not going to put them down just yet well i could do let's yeah let's um no that isn't the one i wanted oh well i don't know what i did i had some um other double-sided tape but this will do so the double-sided tape i'm going to put this on the mountain side fold that um, we do for our waterfalls now what we could do or what what we could do with this is actually have we could maybe have i'm not going to do them on this one because it take too long to cut them all out but i've just had a thought we could actually have um, an acetate window um, a six by five four acetate window out of this which would be um, a nice uh, feature as well but i'll just keep them as they they are at the minute so this is the thing things come to me and then i think um we uh we change well i do anyway i change my ideas something rotten all the time yes i might put them um up as a pre-order and then if you want to you can order them ready for when they come out and then i can post them out 
um, but I haven't actually got that far yet in doing them. I I was waiting to get my penny so I could get my penny so that I could buy them and then um, get them done. So there's just so many, I've got so many ideas and so many dies that I really want to do. So it's getting them, one getting the cash to get them because uh, they're not cheap and the the other thing is that I have to work out what I think is going to be really really popular and what will be really useful because that's what I want to achieve is to have dies that um, are going to be really really useful for people to use and be able to use time and time again where they're not going to go out of fashion you'll be able to use them and use them all the time and I think that's what um, I really want to achieve with my sort of dies and things is so that you can use them so they don't actually go on a trend I'm not doing a trend as such um, with the dies they're going to be just really useful so we don't need that so I've done my ones so what I'll do is I'll start to put these down so I'm going to add my glue because I want a bit of wiggle time with this and again get them get it lined up so I've got my little marks there and I just need to make sure I've got a quarter of an inch from one side and a quarter of an inch of the other like so and then I can push that down when I'm happy but because I've got that glue I can wiggle it around if I wasn't happy so that's that now I am going to well no I'm not because I haven't done it in any but I do like rounded corners they do look nice Now, I'm just going to have a quick sip. So, in my pot. See, I'm using my pot. No, that's not supposed to be in there, though, because that's not rubbish. But I'm using my pot for all my scraps, keeping my desk tidy. I just need to eat a few more tubs of ice cream but that's not hard for me I love ice cream coffee is my favorite ice cream I have to say coffee flavor or there is a um, peanut butter cup one uh, that um, a certain company does I love that one well any ice cream I'm sorry I need to just take that off again that's why it's good that I've got the glue on and then I can just push that down and then that should be nice and level all the way round because what I've done is I'm leveling it up with the top edge here so I haven't burnished this down with a Teflon tool I've just used my fingers as my burnishing aid glue on there again and we just push that in so that it I've got no gaps there push it over that's two push that down and over like so and next one I might have to do a few more but that's okay I don't mind doing a couple more I might have to do one more actually 
Maybe one or two more. Well, I can, actually, what I might do is... did one more let me see so one more would take me to there and then I've got okay now so I'm gonna do one more so then I've got sorry about that get that out the way so then I've got one and actually I quite like it going this way one two three four Five. Sure, I did. Ah, did I not? Five, six. I didn't. I knew I did some more, but I thought I didn't think these were them. But I didn't. Ink. I didn't um, score the half an inch on there. So let's go with this one. Well, tomorrow I'm actually going out for the day. I'm going to a restaurant that is near Kings Lynn. It's near Sandringham, and they do like an all-day brunch, as much as you can eat um, all day um, there. Never been before, but I'm going with all the the ladies. Um, I'm going with my friend Lynn and her husband as well and um, it's going to be a very nice day I think I um, haven't seen them for a little while so I'm looking forward to it so I've just rung up or, or uh, Lynn rung up to find out whether or not I was um, there was any gluten free options because uh, all of a sudden my body is saying nope you do not like gluten so um that's not well it's an intolerance should i say more than an uh, allergic reaction i put it down to being maybe menopausal type of thing i think our bodies just um sometimes they just decide they don't like things and i've stuck that down and that is not right there we are yeah sorry i do take, like to take a bit of time to get these lined up with the edges here you probably can't see it we just get a so you may be able to see if i put that under so they they kind of all line up actually i've got a really really crisp line there which is good and that side a little bit out here but I'm not going to worry too much about that bit there so next one we can either do it where we we can either have one that goes down so that it's actually in with the waterfall so it's actually a waterfall panel itself or we can have one that goes all the way down to the bottom and it's a hidden waterfall so we could do that i quite like those ones where they're hidden so i think that's what we'll do and then we'll use one of the, the um, tag elements on here as a closure so let me let me let me let me measure so i'm going to give that i'm going to measure from the top let's measure from the bottom so measure from there and all the way to the top i'm going to leave a quarter inch there so if i go up if i make it eight and three quarters so let me write this down again brain sieve eight three quarters by i think it was five and three quarters check no it wasn't it was seven and uh seven and a quarter that was the five and three quarters so seven and a quarter so 
go down here. So eight and oh, I'll have to do it with this one. Eight and three quarters. There. Right, seven and three quarters. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the top a bigger score line um, on here. Now I could ha either have it where I score it, um, I might score it along this side and have it more as a flap than as a um, hidden um, glue tab. So I just need to work out the size. And I think it's going to be about so it's there. Um, we go with seven eighths. Right, if it doesn't work, I can always cut another piece. So let's go with seven eighths. I need a cut then and then I'll show you what I'm going to do so I could either do it where I have my hidden hinge underneath so you've got that bigger gap there or I can have it where we make a little bit of a feature of it so it goes this way like so and then we lift this bit up so I think we're going to do that. I don't think I've done one of those for a little while. And then that's going to hide that grey board and keep that quarter inch all the way round. So it's looking good. So let's give, I'm just going to put some glue on this quite a bit because we need it and I need the wriggle room is what I need so I'm going to put this I'm going to butt it up to the, that top flap as close as close can be like so and then just really push it down now, if you've got a gap it doesn't matter too much because we can cover it with some um, permanent pen there we go but that that's okay that's on like so and then that is going to be our hidden there we are just move it over a little bit our hidden waterfall so thank you for that idea although this is going to annoy me there just a little bit there okay I've got a little tiny bit here showing I don't know if you can see so what I may do is just put a tiny tiny slither of card underneath and then that will hide that I could do put some uh, permanent pen underneath but it's a little bit too big to me, for me to do that I think so I can just what I can do is I'm going to slip it underneath the top flap there so add some glue and I'm going to just pull this bit up just so that I can slip it underneath there we are and then that will hide that when I come to put this one back on that's better Sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. You just have to keep trying. There we are. So, 
So I, I noticed today, I heard today that the um, they've announced the contestants for the no, new sewing bee. Need you to look at the packaging later. Oh, I've done, done most of it. Oh, okay, darling, thank you. So I, yes, I saw that they were announced for the... Um, for the sewing bee so I'm looking forward to that can't sew but I love to watch it it's very nice it's a very good program so I've done that so now what we need to do is the little closure which can go up so we can have either I think what I'll do is I might have it like that. So instead of using this going that way, we'll have it this way. And then that's going to act as like a, another closure. But we can have this, cut this down to, well, I'm not going to cut it down. Sorry, I'm going to score it at half an inch like so. And then we can put that on. So I'm going to have that up as far as that will go, like so. And then we can then open that out, and then this will open that way. Nice. So when we've got our other page on there, that will hold that down. So. So add the glue. And then we can stick it underneath. Now I'm just going to by eye that middle like so. Push that down. So what I've done is I've pushed the scored edge into the bottom edge of the flap for the closure of the waterfall um, page so it looks a bit like that and then push that over and then I'll add some magnets we can add magnets on there and then here we can either add a, um, a photo mat because this is going to be big enough so we can add a photo on there um, using the Cool Cats dies, uh, we can add. So let me have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but first of all, we need our magnets. So these ones are 15 mil magnets. So 15 mil by one mil. But what I am going to do is just put my phone underneath here, like so so that I've got a bit of height because I've got to add photos and I've also got to add your pattern paper as well so you don't want it to be really really flat you want it to be able to give and you know be able to uh, bend a little bit with all that um, paper and um, stuff inside I was going to say oh that's heavy but it's because my phone's underneath so with that being like that it's going to give me that nice um, height for when we put those bits in so as always I'm going to add my magnets underneath now I'm going to add them underneath and on the top of this one so that there's less paper and card in between the magnets and then that way you end up you'll get a very strong um, magnetic um, force so I need the tape. Now I just use my foundation tape, but you can use double-sided tape, you can use glue, anything like that. Um, this is just what I use. So I'm not going to, um, I'm just gonna put, it's moving because I've got magnets there, but what I've done with this one is I've done the opposite, so the I don't know if this is the right word, the opposite polarisation, if that's the right word I'm looking for, um, so that it is repelling the magnet on the top. If it was um, 
the right if it was the positive side it would stick to the uh, magnets underneath so I've kind of done that like that one has so this one needs to be turned over so that it resists that uh, magnet under there that way you won't get your magnets um, sticking together so they are on like so I'm just going to push that over that be okay so leave you there and pull that over so a bit of tape sticky side up and you can add your first magnet on the top like so and then we'll get the next magnet and we'll put that one down like so and we can close that over and then just stick them down there we go so that's one and then just that one there we go and that one there so then they will let me move my phone out stick on there like so and then you've got still a little bit of give inside there for when you then start to fill that up now i'm not going to fill all my cards my waterfall flap with paper it's not worth it you first of all you will there we go can you see now linderella there we go it's a bit big to do that there we go there we are spot on brilliant so with um that what um yeah if you use all your paper it's a bit of a waste because you are going to put photos on here or you are going to journal so i tend to just use maybe a strip uh, along the bottom here and then you can put your your a journaling uh, plain either white or cream or whatever color you're going to use to um, cover this with um, it just makes a lot more sense to do it that way so move that over just a little bit so on here I think we'll do the top bit first so I was going to use one of these but because I'm doing it this way I want to use I want, we was sorry we was going to put that as a photo map wasn't we I changed my mind and let's have a look see what if i've got any paper here that is um, no that's not big enough i do like that there though that's really nice so let's get this i want to use this i think Um, but it's going to be covered up so maybe not I don't want to use that one let's use this one I like this page here I like this group this green this green is my favorite I love it with all the little because this has got some darker green like ink splats on so what you could do with this as well um, especially if you've got any sprays at home is to um, give this a, a few more um, added sprays to make it a bit more mixed media you can maybe add some gesso on the top just some white gesso maybe around the corners to make it a bit more shabby chic that would look quite nice as well if you were gonna um, do more of a mixed media type um, book I just love working with this minte paper it's um, it's a bit of a refreshing change than working with the other more popular brands so it just makes it a bit of a nice change so let me just measure this before i cut i've just noticed my ruler has got a split in i think it's time to buy a new one just there if you can see that there look never knew that known that before it is quite old 
so let me think so that'll be seven and seven and one eighth by five and three quarters let me just write that down seven one eighth by five and three quarters. I'm just going to double check that because I don't know if that's right. So, yeah, five and three quarters by seven and one eighth. So, seven and one eighth. So, I'm going to go this way. So, this is my directional paper. So, seven and one eighth. Oops. By five and three quarters. I hope this is right. I was just about to say it's not right, but it is, it is right. It is, it is, it is, it is. So I'm going to ink the edges and then we will see if I can find a nice photo, one of the photo dies to put inside here. So just ink the edges. Before I do, I need to just cut it out. I did those, those ones go. So we can either do a couple or one. I think this would be a nice one for one of them. So I don't want the big one is too big, I think. Yes, too big. Now there's that one there. That one would be quite a nice size or we could go with some no let's go the long side put these in these are invaluable these are these are such good guys now I think I'm I am missing that biggish one I think it is here I've just remembered where I put it keep that out and then we can you can either put it so it's down or you can go in the middle I'm going to do the middle hopefully I'll get the same distance between the two and get my tape again I think I should do yes I know well they they've actually been um, these have been done so there's not really much I can because they're they're like perfect there's not really much I can um, improve on them so um, my tag dies are something different so they've got a the um, at the moment the four by three and the reason they're four by three is because six by four tag dies would be so big that um, they make the dies really really expensive but they will come eventually in the near future um, as all things they um, it's like everything I have to wait I hate waiting but I will definitely do something um, not like this they will be different and I'm taping this upside down so I um, know I'm out of shock there shock I'm out of shock but all I'm doing is just um, adding my tape to my die and then I can put it on and then cut it out so I 
hoping that went all the way through. If it didn't, I can always do it again. Yes, it did. So that's that one. Then I just need to get the, the actual one for that. So my I keep meaning to cut a load of these out and have them on hand but um, that's as far as it gets just cutting a load of them them out of the white or cream card my card a little bit you can't really see it on there but um, it's only going to be just for a I'll just put it in just for the moment and then I'll recut a different one just so that you can see so I always tend to put my photo mats in before I glue them down that way you can see where your photo mat corners are so if I turn them round you'll be able to see here now if I took them out they become really difficult to see where they are and inadvertently you then do end up gluing them shut like so now I am going to put the biggest part along the bottom and just so that I can see what I'm doing I will just put that behind like so and then I can see my black edges like that so glue again just around the edge try not to get it anywhere near them corners says and nearly goes and glues them shut and then let's just push them up pull that down now because this has got a little bit of a bow in it it will bow up a little bit so I will have to just for the moment put something heavy just on the top of it just to keep it closed but I've not got it straight so let's pull that straight Hold on, we'll get that right. There we are, like that. Push that down and then across. There we are. Now I don't know if, hold on, right, I think I might just take off a tiny smidgen of the bottom because I, it's not, I haven't got it level, um, it's just a tiny bit and then that should make it a bit more even all the way around. We add some more glue. Uh, A lot better there we go now I've got my even matte and layer pull that down a bit sometimes when you come to do these it just doesn't seem to look right you have to just fiddle about just to get it correct so that's the front of our page like so and then we've got this here and this one here so we can just do either um, we can have a little pocket in there which I might do which we'll, we'll use one of my dies that are coming so that you can see what they look like 
and I'm going to use the same page part of this because it's near enough the same size so that was five and three quarters so I'm going to take that off five and three quarters so I'm going to do the bottom bit off and then we can I'll move over a little bit now so this is now going to be the back and what we'll do is I'll give it a ink like so and there we go let's ink that up I'm just going to grab another drink here it's really dry tonight it was so warm and then it was so cold this morning and then it was so um, warm this afternoon I just wish it would make up its mind so let's bring in these dies now I am going to do one this way so let's go with that and we're going to just put it um, on the side now I'm going to make it quite big so again this doesn't matter how straight it is because it's curved so it's going to look um, like it's straight anyway so unless you do it at an angle well, even if you do it at an angle it looks okay it looks better if you do the more at angles than not so I'm just going to um, take them down and then you can see what it looks like. I'm really excited. So here we go. the big reveal now what you can do as well if you don't want to see the pocket or the slot you keep this bit that where it comes out and then you can then put that back in but as you can see it's a nice big slot in there so you can fit quite a bit in there like so so I'm gonna just fit this down but I'm going to do it this way because I've then taped it on the wrong way. So I'm going to have to put my, well, unless I turn it round. Unless I turn it round that way, which I might have to do. See, we always make mistakes. Check which way your page is going up before you cut into it. So we're going to put it this way and keep your bit that come out of it and again so what we're going to do is we need to make sure so this part here we're going to glue but this bit at the bottom we're not because that's where our pocket's going to be so we're just going to stick this on like so bring it up now if you don't want to see that uh, pocket there you can then just add in or back in the piece that come out and then that will hide that pocket um, that slot it will just become like a uh, a bit of a hidden area some people like it, some people don't. It's really up to you. So I'm going to just push that back in 
like so and it will the pocket will still be open it will just be closed so we get my uh, paper tool I can't find it so it will have to be pencil here just to lift that up so that it is there we are a little bit up so then you hid you hide it you can't even see that now unless I then put something in between so excuse me for just ripping this little bit up actually there we go so you can then put something in the side there and I love it that it shows that curve so it just to me looks like a little bit of a like a wave so if you're doing mermaids or anything like sea theme this would be brilliant now well, don't we just bring that up you can just about see it there there we go so you could obviously put something that goes that way um if that right, it might be better there we go you can see that a lot better there Yes, it does look, um, you're right, Jill, it does look lovely um, when you've done it in the corner. I've done one of those already as well. Um, but I, I just like it for this curved edge. Um, it, you can have it this way, you can have it the other way. There's so much scope for them um, to use them, there really is. So that's going to be that. Like so, just making sure that we've still got our bow. But that will um, level out the more that we use it. So that's that page. What's the time? Right, I'll go for another 10, 20 minutes and then I'm going to call it a night, I think. So we can do a little booklet in here, um, a little tag to go in there. And yes, I think we'll do our little tag. So I'm going to do some little tags i think rather rather than a one booklet so let me get my trimmer out and my ooh. so a ruler i'll just work out the size so we go if i'm going to do at four and three quarters by so four by six so i can have a four by six in there so four and three so four and three quarters by i'm going to go with six and a half and if that's too small i'll cut it down so let's just see yeah just a tiny bit so i'm going to go with four and a uh, four and so six and a quarter should then give me enough so that's um uh, uh, we can just do a nice tag in there and then that ha as it is it literally stuck in there that's not going to move and come out so i'm going to see what um bits that i've got that are spare so our scrap pieces so that i can use start using those up on our um tags and things so i could actually go with just using some pieces like this now i've done it where we i've used done like a patchwork type thing so i think that's what i might do and just use up a few of the oddments that we've got so let me throw those away so that's an oddment that is and them but well not them but that i did have I normally put all my 
pieces all my scraps into a little folder and just um, take them all out from there but I just haven't had the time to um, to do anything like that it's just been um, really it's just been manic 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 right hold on just a second um um that i've just not been able i've just not even got them out of the cupboard so they've just been moved from box to box so i think i've got all that i need as such so i am going to round the corners on these i like my rounded corners on my tags that's if I can find my corner rounder. There we are. And I like to use, this is the medium size rounder. I don't know what size it is, um, but it just gives you a nice straight, well not straight, but a nice curved um, edge. Rather than the crocodile, I love the crocodile, they are really good. But I never ever think that you get um, a nice, straight, perfect um, corner at all, which is really, really difficult to do. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut these down. So let me move this out the way because I don't need that for a moment. And cut this bit off and I'm going to round all the corners on these so that they're rounded and th that gives you another look to your um, pieces it makes you it's so good to be able to use all your scraps so I've got a tiny bit up there that I can use now I might cut this down just a bit more so that I've got a little bit more space at the top there because that's really tiny so I haven't actually measured this I don't know what this um, uh, measures so I'm going to start to stick this on now the only thing I say with this is it's good to try and get a nice even distance um, between them all and you can sort of um, go from there so let me just ink the edges again you don't have to but i like to so i'm going to stick this one down now i've used this quite a lot when i'm doing my memory books and things on youtube it just really does use up all your scraps and I hate throwing scraps away. I tend to try and keep even the tiny little pieces like that I keep. And by the end of it, I think, why? Because then you throw them away, but it is still, you could use them. So I've got another small piece here. And I'm going to cut this down. So I might measure the top here. And that's going to measure seven eighths by is that six and a quarter. So seven eighths by four and five eighths. Four and five eighths, which is there. Open and shut there. And then just cut this bit off here. There we go. And then that could go along the top there like so but I'm going to put it this way now you don't have to just use pattern paper you could use um, your um, cream card as well so let me just pick that up and if only I get all my dies out I think, well, I'm going to do some die cutting tonight and then um, I never get time to do it but because then I, my mind just goes on to something different. Ah, there we go. The joys of being me. So then we're going to just ink these edges. And 
and then we can put that along the top there I'm going to turn them that way because that's the way my brain is telling me to put it so I'm going to come down a little bit now like so so that's the top bit so now I've got this bit here so I could actually do just this long bit um, in there because that's really that's a nice design I love this this um, butterfly so let's try and do that so three and one eighth by five and one eighth let's have a look three and one eighth so don't have to cut too much of it off would help if I cut and didn't score so three and one eighth by five and one eighth so we can just cut that bit off so we've still got that nice butterfly on there like so and then round the corners on this That's why I tend to have, I always use my corner rounder the wrong way up because sometimes when you then come to put your corner rounder in you may not get it correct and then you end up with it just cutting that tiny little um, horrible hole out there um, and then it's hard to do so I always use them that way and that way I know I'm going to get a nice crisp um, corner rounder now I've actually put one on a bit wonky but I'll show you a little trick that what we're going to do to combat that but I think it's because I've not not placed it correctly because it doesn't look wonky down the line there this bit on and then let me place this on so I'm going to line it up with that edge so that it looks quite even down that that side there there we are so that then is a tag covered and all we've done is used our scraps for it so we can just do the same maybe on the back you can then maybe add just your uh, cream card so I've got some here so let me just I'm just going to chop this apart so things like this as well you can use this part as well so don't throw them away so let me just cut this down now I'm going to go with six and as I said this could be our six by four photo mat so I did say that didn't I so let me get a so I'm going to make this right six and one eighth by four and one eighth so if when you put your photo on you're going to have that nice matte and layer feel of of it so right, that can then go on like so now you can have it either in the middle like that but I'm going to have it right over this side and then I'm going to have a strip of something down there so let me just round them corners I'm going to round these ones as well and then we can stick that on like so that's so 
and then push this on and then pull that up and then I'll just measure that little bit there and this tiny little bit that we didn't throw away could actually go there so let me see if I can I wish there was a little trimmer where you could do these tiny little cuts let's see what that is yep yeah, that's perfect by six and is it six and a quarter I'll just do it six and a quarter and then if it's less I'll, I'll cut it down yes yeah, one little tiny so six and an eighth and then I'm only going to round the one side because it's not big enough to round and all. So I'm just going to round the edges that it touches there. So ink them like so. Now you can also add on here. Um, the little tab pulls that I've got. I've got some dies that do little tab pulls so I'll show you those in just a second and we can maybe put one of them on. They are my favouritest of dies that I've done so far. So you can push that down and then what we can do is add like I did last night I just added some little words we can add some words onto this so I'm going to add the craft card one so let's have a look let's go let's have believe so we can either I'm going to go from the top so believe um, Inspire, that'd be a nice one. Believe, inspire. And adventure. There we go. No, three different words, all quite positive, like so. And then what you could actually do, which would be quite nice, is to actually just all go all the way down uh, with just those words. Because then that, in my head now, that's looking like little stitches um, on there. So you could have, but they don't stick, so I just need to add a bit of glue on these and pull them up. There we are. go so that should be all right yes yeah, so you can add them all the way down and that that would look quite nice on there now I've got some bling I had some big bling and some little bling just to the bottom here so I'm going to put one there and then go for the smaller ones as well Oh, I've just found these, actually. Right. These are what you... Right, these are um, for clothes, I think. They're little tags. But I bought them because I think they were really good for little tag hold holders like so. I thought they went really, really nice. So I could use that that looks goes really well with that on that side and they've got stickies on one side but you would just have to do that put some uh, glue on the other but you could then make a little tab hold with those right so but I'm not going to I just saw them and thought oh they might look good so let me just get the one that so I've got the glue off here and I need a little knife 
So put one there. I'm going to just go up in tiny little increments like so. There we are. Go on, stick there. So, so that's the bling. So that is a. I've just made something. Just a. Um, a tag out of offcuts that we would have thrown away and not used and they just look nice so you've got a nice journal spot there or it's big enough for you to then put your six by fours on and if you wanted to you could use one of my stamps to put the um, place your six by four photo here and then you've still got a nice um, decorative feature on the back so you could either have that either or so you could have it um, in this part like so, like that, or you could turn it round and have it like that. So the choice would be obviously yours. And then that will snap closed and it's all nice and closed. But I'm going to have it, actually it looks quite nice either way, if you can see that looks nice either way but I think I might have it that way and then that would be a bit of a um, a surprise when you turn it over like so so as I said I was going to put my little I've got one here no I think I'm going to leave it actually and just leave it like that I like it um, where you just pull it off and then that goes over like that so next time I think what we'll do is we can I mean you can even add the I don't, it might be too thick but you could even add like a, um, a paper clip to this as well which would look really really good right I think what's the time I'm going to leave it there for tonight and carry on I'm not on tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday But I will be back online on Thursday and we can carry on and get some more pages done. We seem to be getting quite, um, we, we're actually doing really, really well for this book. And hopefully by next week this will be completed and we'll have, <coughs> excuse me, another um, album to add to our um, bookcase so thank you thank you thank you I really hope you've enjoyed it thank you for uh, joining me again um, really really appreciate you joining if you can please can you share that I'm on twitch so that I can I really want to get um, some emojis but I have to have um, 50 followers so that I can add my own emojis so that you can um, click then onto your the emojis for my channel but I've, I'm up to 18 so I'm getting there slowly but I'm getting there uh, I will send you pics of oh yes please yes no really do I'd love to see that yes you can put them in my discord as well or send them to me on messenger Sarah what what um, whatever you prefer so thank you ever so much again for watching enjoy the rest of your evening and i will see you again on thursday bye everybody thanks bye